Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, uh, mag-discuss tayo ng Metro Bank Mat Challenge kasi napakalapit na niya mga Lodi, as in one month na lang. So January 17 yung contest natin for high school, January 16 for elementary. So for this topic, ang i-discuss natin is yung 2018 Metro Bank Mat Challenge questions for grade 7. So sagot tayo ng around 4 questions. At least para uh, malaman natin paano ba i-atake sa mga gantong klase ng problem. So grade 7 people, so makinig tayo, coaches, trainers, pati yung mga contestants natin. Number 1, arrange the following numbers from least to greatest. We have 3 over 8, 0 0.3, and 7 over 25. So normally, dinidivide natin yan, which is yun nga yung pinakamadaling way. Kasi ang 3 over 8, so kung alam natin na yung value ng 1 over 8, Kung alam natin na ang value ng 1 over 80 0.125, hindi na tayo magkakaroon ng problema sa pag-convert nito mga Lodi. Kasi ang 2 over 8, that is 1 fourth. Ang 3 over 8, ita times mo lang to sa 3. Therefore, ang 3 over 8, that is equivalent to 0.375. E ito, 0.3 na. Ilan yung 7 over 25? So, pwede mo siyang i-divide o kaya, pwede mo naman na mas padaliin. Paano natin gagawin yan, Sir IJ? So, ang gagawin natin, yung denominator natin, pwede natin siyang gawing 100. Kasi nga, 25 yan. So, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So, that is 28 over 100, which makes it 0 0.28. So, meron tayong 0 0.375, 0 0.3, and 0 0.28. Arrange them from least to greatest. Anong pinakamaliit? That is 0 0.28. Then, 0.3, then 0.375. But remember, kapag sasagutan na natin yung tanong, so we have to uh, indicate yung pinaka-original na given, hindi yung decimal form niya. So we have to write this as 7 over 25, kama, ano yung next na maliit? 0 0.3, kama, 3 over 8. So ganito po natin siya isusulat. Yan na po yung magiging final answer natin for question number 1. Okay? So, ganun lang siya, Lodi. Pwede mo naman i-divide. Wala namang problema. So, tinuturo ko lang naman yung ibang pwedeng paraan. Di ba? Okay, number two. So, we have, in a class of 40 students, 18 are studying Korean and 10 are studying both Japanese and Korean. How many students are not taking any foreign language? So, much better kung gawa natin siya ng Venn diagram. So, gawa tayo ng Venn diagram. Since dalawa lang naman yung objects natin, we have the Korean and the Japanese na language. So, just draw two circles which are intersecting. Kasi nga, meron tayong both. So, mga Lodi, ganun yan. So, meron tayong Korean. Let's say, ito yung Korean natin. Meron tayong Japanese. Okay? So, gawa natin siya ng box. Bakit ginagawa siya ng box sa IG? Kasi, hindi naman laging nandun lang tayo sa gitna, dun sa mga circle kasi pwede rin naman na merong hindi nagtitik or kumukuha ng object na yun or nung language na yun so anong sinabi? 40 students yung total, so that is a total of 40 ilan yung Korean? 18, ilan yung both? Japanese so ang pinakamadaling paraan dyan is to supply yung gitna natin that is our intersection so ang intersection natin is 10 ilan yung Korean? 18 so yung Korean na 18 na yan, yung buo yan mga Lodi, kasali na yung gitna so, 18 minus 10, that is 8. Ilan yung Japanese natin? Hindi natin alam. How many students are not taking any foreign language? So, paano natin gagawin yan, mga Lodi? So, ano na mangyari? So, we have, uh, in a class of 4, pwede natin i-assume na yung hindi na kumukuha is X. So, tingnan muna natin may yung given. Ha? Okay, 23 pala are Japanese. So, nakalimutan ilagay. So, lagay natin dito mga Lodi, 23 are Japanese. So, it was indicated the problem. So, nakalimutan lang ilagay. So, ulitin natin. So, meron tayong walong Korean kasi nga 18 yung total nila. So, 23 are studying Japanese. 23 minus 10 mga Lodi, that is 13. So, we have 8 plus 10 plus 13, that is equivalent to 31. Since 31 lang yung total, meron tayong nasa labas which makes it 40 minus 31. So, we have 9 students which are not taking any foreign language. Okay? So, ganun lang siya mga Lodi. Ito lang yung nakalimutan nating ibigay. Okay? Next problem, number 3. In a senior high school, 35% of the students are girls. 
if there are 300 fewer girls than boys, find the total number of students in the senior high school. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? Unang-una, nahihirapan tayo paano natin gagawin yan. Pero ganito lang yung pinakamabilis at quickest way ng pag-atake ng gantong problem. Number 3, 35% of the students are girls. So, let's say, X is the total number of students. So, knowing that X is the total number of students, so we have 0.35x. Bakit 0.35x? Kasi 35% of the students are girls. So, we can represent this as girls. Kung 35% yung girls, 100 minus 35, that is 65. Therefore, the number of boys is 0.65x. Okay? So, ang sinabi, if there are 300 fewer girls than boys, that means that the difference between the number of boys and the number of girls is 300. So, that is boys minus girls equals 300. Based from our representation, so ang mangyayari mga Lodi, we have 0.65x minus 0.35x equals 300. So, subtract natin. So, we have 0.3x equals 300. Then, divide natin. Move one decimal to the right. So, that is 3,000 over 3. That is equivalent to 1,000 students. So, yan ang po yung magiging final answer natin for problem number 3. Okay? So, sagot pa tayo ng isang problem. So, hindi lang nagkasa, pero ilagay na natin yung isang problem dito. So, additional problem number 4. So, let's na natin yung given dun sa question natin, mga Lodi, ah. So, number 4, solve for x. So, we have x plus 4 all over 3 minus x minus 1 all over 4 is equal to 1. So, this one is very easy. Pero, ano yung pinaka nagiging common error natin? That is yung way ng pag-distribute natin. How do we distribute negative coefficient? ba? So, dun tayo madalas nagkakamali. I mean, I mean, ninyo yan. Yan yung pinaka-common carelessness ng mga students, ng mga mathletes natin. So, first thing, we have to get the least common denominator, which is 12. Kasi 3 and 4, that's 12. Since they are ano naman, wala naman silang common factor, so you just multiply the two numbers. So, 12 divided by 3, that's 4. So, magiging 4 times x plus 4 minus 12 divided by 4, mga Lodi, that's 3. 3 times x minus 1 equals 12 times 1, that's 12. So, ito yung common error, mga Lodi. Ito yung pag-distribute nito. Negative times negative. Kasi nakakalimutan yung negative, negative pa rin yung kinakapi ng mga estudyante. So, magiging 4x plus 16 minus 3x, negative, negative, positive, equals 12. So, that is x, 16 plus 3, that's 19, equals 12. So, subtract 19 to both sides, therefore, ano value ng x? Negative 7. So, just in case, meron kayong questions or clarifications, huwag kayong mahiyang magtanong mga Lodi. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, and I hope you have a great day. God bless us, bye-bye.